Hey YouTube, it's me, it's Judy Sees, and I don't know, I just thought I'd give you a little update on my mental health. I'm going to point with my nail file because it's in my hand, but, um, yeah, mental health as far as depression and urges to, um, self-injure or self-destruct in other ways, such as negative self-talk, um, avoidance, um, binging, purging, restricting, um, all that stuff. So, um, I just want to start this video off by saying that I... I'm not a doctor. Um, I'm just somebody that's gone through a lot of stuff that has finally found a way to make it all work. Um, I, I get messages from people and everything saying, you know, I, I'm in this state of mind right now. What do I do? I'm sorry, guys, but I don't know. I'm just sharing my experiences and hopefully other people will understand. Um, so I'm sorry if I haven't been getting back to some of you guys. It's just I don't really know what to say. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just Amy. Okay, I'm just yeah. Anyway, now that I've wasted two minutes saying who I am. Um, Things been going okay, actually. Um, I got through the semester at school, and I think I did okay. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, of course, there's always that. Why did I get an A minus and not an A? Or in my case, why did I get that C plus? I could have, I could have gotten a B. I could have gotten a B. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> You know, perfectionist, but anyway, so it has taken, oh, look, I can stick my hair in my pocket. Ta-da. Anyway, so it has taken me um, years upon years to get to the point where I am now with the way my brain processes things and Yeah, just the way my brain processes things. Um, and, I mean, you literally have to train your brain because when, like, things were set in my brain pretty early and, how do I say this? The way I handled things before was through self-destructive behavior, um, and it was just an automatic response. It was just, you know, trigger, response. <laughs> I mean, it just went through, through my eyeballs, into my brain. My brain was like, do this. So it's taken me a long time to not do that. And... A lot of talking to myself. <laughs> I'm not crazy, but um, talking to myself and reasoning with it and using the wise mind versus the unwise mind. I don't know what you call this, this little guy over here. Um, anyway, rambling. Um, so, now, when something happens that triggers me, and of course other things trigger me, um, can trigger me a little bit, or they can trigger me a lot. And it's still kind of shaky with the things that trigger me a lot, because it's so easy just to do that automatic response, but I just have to stop and say, okay, I have the urge um, to cut right now. 
I want to cut. What will it fix? Well, I know it's not going to fix anything, but it's going to it's going to get some of this tension out. It's going to release. It's, it's going to free me for a minute, a minute, and that's all I want is a minute. I don't care how horrible I feel afterwards. I just want a minute. That is what this little guy over here is saying. Um, and then my little wise mind pops up again and starts talking to it and says, what else can you do besides cut? Um, that can help you. And this little guy starts thinking and says, well, I guess I could talk to somebody before. I could write it out. I'm really stressed about a lot of things happening at once. I could write them all out and prioritize them, schedule them, you know. Um, so that's the process I had to go through with every single trigger that would enter. Um, every time that red flag went up and I was like, I want to purge. I, I want to, you know, do something self-destructive. Um, I just, I had to go through that process. And I don't know, I'm sure with some people it's, um, it's easier. I'm sure with some people it can be, you can go through that process with a couple of things and it kind of fixes, fixes your brain for a lot of things. But with me, it's literally day by day what, what triggers me. Um, I had gone a year or so, I don't know, like 16 months without self-injury and I had a relapse and then it's been I don't know, three or four months now and I haven't had another relapse. Um, so not perfect, but one relapse in 20 months is, isn't bad, I don't think. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I also want to say that a lot of that process of asking yourself what else can you do and you know, the whole process I just explained medication helps <laughs> there is no you know I've been on the fence about medication for a while I don't like taking it I think you know I should be able to correct my brain myself and I should be able to make it think what I want it to think you know um, without medication and I've been against it so much but I've been on it for a while a long time and I just spent about a month off of it and that was hard um, it's so much easier when the chemicals in your brain are in balance and you don't go into depression, you don't go into that deep sinking feeling, or you don't go into the panic mode with anxiety. It's just been, I, I mean, it's, it's been crazy. Um, I've been so paranoid and so, I've been nervous when I'm on stage and stuff, and I'm usually to the point where yeah, I get nervous, but it's nothing big. But this was like literally shaking nervous. And I didn't usually get like that. So having meditation does help with the process. It feels like I don't really have to go through the whole wise mind, unwise mind, talking to each other, figuring out a nice little con, nice little um, solution to anything. Um, with the medication, it's it's so much easier just to listen to the wise mind, just to say, I agree with that. Let's try that today. Um, I don't know what it is about medication, but it does help. <laughs> um, so 
yeah. <sighs> anyway, I just wanted to kind of update you guys on what was going on there and some of the things that I used to, or some of the process that I used to get past tough times and, um, you know, it's, it's a process, but it's worth it. And I wouldn't trade anything that I went through. Um, I wouldn't trade it for the world because I've learned so much about myself by doing that. And, you know, <laughs> I don't know what else to say, but I'm, I'm a person that's, that's definitely at peace with everything now. And I'm, I just look forward to them to tomorrow every night I go to bed and I just look forward to tomorrow and you know another thing that has truly helped me personally I don't I can't speak for anybody else is finding a sense of religion again finding exploring that side of things because I was against it for so long but I'm glad I'm back in it. It's it's hard. I question everything I do, and I question every time I go to church, and I question the the preacher's sermon every Sunday. But it's worth it. I just feel so much at ease, so much more at ease, so much more at peace with everything. And yeah, so I'm hoping to get some videos up over this little break I have um, some helpful videos that don't ramble on for 13 minutes well 12 minutes so <laughs> um, yeah so I hope you guys are doing okay um, I I love your feedback your responses and everything and thank you so much for everybody that sent me well wishes over the time that I didn't um, make a video. It was really, really, really sweet of you guys. Um, so yeah, I will update you guys later. Bye.